Okay, my name is Amir. I'm a pharmacist and I uh, work in Birmingham. The backstory for me um, has been basically I was a sufferer uh, with a lower uh, joint pain for near enough uh, eight to ten years. Um, prior to that, um, I was very much involved in a lot of sports, swimming, golf, um, tennis, um, gymnastics, which I believe throughout the years uh, contributed to my condition. As a result of that, um, I had to re gradually reduce uh, the volume of my sports, uh, sports sporting activity, uh, and also my work commitments, were, which were at some point affected at a later stage. I sorry, developed a condition uh, which was known as degenerative disc disease. Uh, in my case, it was my facet joints, uh, where there was a, a breakdown of cartridge cartilage, uh, which then resulted in um, uh, inflammation, which was then impinging on the nerves, uh, which as a result of that uh, led to excruciating pain. Um, so I suffered um, almost debilitating pain for a, in the region of uh, two to three years. Uh, uh, within that period, obviously, researching the number of uh, treatments out there and um, reluctantly not actually going ahead with anything and, uh, and concentrating a lot on uh, alternative medicine. Uh, so the symptoms that I uh, lived with uh, was a stabbing-like pain in my lower back, the L4, L5 region. Uh, I was literally at the point of waking up. Um, getting out of bed uh, was a chore in itself. Um, and then just try to live uh, throughout the daily uh, activities, um, you know, getting down the stairs, putting the socks on, um, you know, getting dressed. Uh, that pain would um, start off um, at a rate of 10 out of 10 in the morning, gradually get lower uh, as the day went on, uh, but it would come back on prolonged uh, standing, walking. Uh, running was completely out of the question uh, due to the impact of the lower back. Uh, with that, uh, I also had uh, degeneration of the knees as well. There was a, um, also um, my shoulders, which were affected from a lot of swimming, uh, rotatory cuff damage, uh, which I, I believe even went into the ligaments um, of the shoulders. So I was, uh, I was uh, falling apart, as they say. <laughs> I mean, the symptoms impacted my daily life on the basis that from a, um, a very active individual in regards to sports, family, etc., I found myself gradually having to reduce the amount of activities that I could do uh, to a point where uh, I got to a stage where I had to completely pack up, you know, all sporting activity for a number of years, in fact, um, about two years, I believe. Um, um, and um, uh, even sort of, you know, going out for a walk uh, for half an hour was, uh, was a, a painful experience. I realistically wanted to go back to potentially even 50% of the lifestyle that I had previously. Um, and I would have I would have been happy with that. Uh, just going for longer walks, being able to conduct my daily activities, you know, playing around with the children. Yeah, I'd spend a lot of time in the park with them, you know, playing football, etc. So getting back to that daily uh, routine, um, as opposed to understanding the condition that I had, getting back to 100%, I believed was near enough impossible based on the research and the, the, the studies that I did uh, with people with my condition. So before stem cell therapy, um, tried uh, a number of treatments. So as the uh, in the early days when the pain started, I um, uh, looked at a lot of alternative methods of massage uh, balls, uh, rollers, uh, physiotherapy, uh, massages, yoga. Um, I mean, I tried all types of treatment, um, all sorts of painkillers uh, from, you know, your paracetamols to your NSAIDs. And uh, unfortunately, even had to go to a point where I was on op opioid uh, uh, pain relief, uh, which had massive side effects on me. Um, tried them for a short time um, and gave that up quite, quite quickly, to be honest, and almost came to a point where I uh, was resigned to the pain that I was suffering with. What made me seek out alternative therapy was the fact that um, the, the conventional uh, medication or treatments that were out there, number one, I was having no effect whatsoever. Uh, if they were, it was very short-lived. 
Uh, with the opioid uh, medication, it was a nightmare as far as drowsiness, brain fog, etc. Um, and with physio and massages, they would take the edge off for a little bit, but I think I was so far down the line uh, that it was a visit to a, uh, a spinal surgeon who told me that I was, uh, my only solution was a, uh, a fusion, uh, which was basically cutting out part of my spine and bolting uh, the rest of my spine together. Uh, and I guess that jolted me into seeking out other means um, uh, of treatment out there. Um, so I went online and did the necessary uh, research. The reason I looked at stem cells uh, was because of the almost non-invasive uh, means of getting the, res the, the required results. I looked online, looked at a lot of success stories, looked at a lot of companies, um, watched a lot of testimonials, um, and um, thought that yes, this is a, uh, uh, an option, but didn't really uh, jump to that particular solution for whatever reason, maybe lack of confidence, um, not knowing nobody, who, somebody who, who had actually gone through the treatment themselves. Um, so yeah, knew, knew about the, the, uh, the results out there, but almost it's like everything on the internet, having that confidence in what's real and what's not. So the obstacles that I um, uh, faced in respect to seeking out treatment f for stem cell in particular was, um, um, as I mentioned previously, not having the confidence uh, of knowing somebody who had actually been through the treatment and having their you know, word of mouth for somebody to say that, yes, I've come back and these are the results that I've had and these are the long-term results that I've had. Um, also, um, not having the confidence to actually take that plunge uh, of going out uh, to another country for treatment uh, almost seemed like a, uh, a romantic idea. Uh, and, and I just left it on the shelf with that romanticism. So yeah. What stopped me from taking uh, action on the stem cell, obviously the few things I've mentioned previously, uh, was actually meeting a, a spinal consultant uh, who specifically advised me against this particular treatment. Um, after having looked at my MRI scans, he, he almost uh, mentioned the Mel Gibson's father's case where he believed that this particular treatment would almost be cosmetic in nature. And if I ever needed my skin to glow, uh, that'd be a good option for me to actually go out and get treated. Um, so that was, that was coming from a professional who, who's in the field, uh, really put sort of a negative uh, bias um, within me. And again, I left it for a number of months. Uh, so there's always some kind of stumbling block uh, along the way, uh, for whatever reason, um, uh, on my journey. I had my reservations uh, in as far as the, the outcomes uh, in, in the sense of the results are concerned. Um, I just didn't have that confidence based on where my pain threshold was and the information that I had from professionals and all the conventional treatments that were out there. I just thought that this almost seemed like a, uh, a fad um, and there was a lot of negative press out on the internet which shaped my mind in regards to that. Um, yeah, it put me off for, for, for quite a while to be honest, it did. Yeah. So um, I also had a lot of family um, who were advising me against this. They had read around this particular subject, knowing the pain that I'd been in and how the pain and my condition had transformed my life. There were a lot of people who were advising me, a uh, very close family who were advising me against it. Uh, there were those uh, believers almost, the positive uh, mindsetted individuals who really tried to push me even without uh, that uh, research being done and I wish I had followed them to be honest at an earlier stage because the nature of my condition was the more it degenerates the, the, the worse obviously the pain gets and the longer it takes for any treatment to kick in. Um, so there are a lot of people, a lot of friends uh, who again uh, and a lot of professionals in my field anyway um, who, who advise me strongly against uh, going down this particular road. Whilst doing my research and the prices that I was getting for a particular treatment, um, again, when you looked at other uh, 
uh, treatments based on the NHS, which I was being offered, offered fr uh, free of charge. Um, and then having to make that decision on going out there and spending uh, 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 an amount which if I compared to a free treatment, um, that sort of did have some uh, holding on my uh, decision making. But uh, once I weighed things up and I looked at the uh, efficiency and the efficacy of this particular treatment, um, I think it was a no-brainer to come to a decision where I could have a, uh, a, a spinal surgery for free and uh, experience uh, a 50-50 result as opposed to have a treatment where I can spend some money um, and uh, at the end of it I could have a miraculous change around in re regards to my lifestyle and activities completely side, e side effect free. My personal experience was, whilst working in the pharmacy, uh, there was a, uh, a customer who'd come in asking for some dressings. Uh, on discussion, uh, we established that he just got back uh, from uh, Serbia and uh, he sort of gave me a, um, a whole his whole experience of uh, what from the, his, his uh, initial research to his then contact, then his experience out there. Uh, and to be honest, seeing the results, the initial results, which were pretty quick in this chap, um, I, was, I was really impressed. And I think primarily it was having met somebody and listening to his experience and you know going through that uh, uh, discussion with him it sort of allayed a lot of my fears um, and gave me the confidence to almost at that point I believe uh, make my mind up uh, to take the plunge into into that treatment. So I chose Swiss Medica um, primarily having spoke to somebody who'd been uh, with a reputable company and spoken very, very highly of them uh, from start to finish, um, who spent a lot of time explaining the whole experience. Um, and also it was um, a lot closer uh, from a lot of the other countries that I'd looked into. So I think Colombia was one of the other options. Um, and um, I, I must say the price uh, w w was very, very uh, reasonable compared to a lot of the prices that a lot of the companies from a, even from distant parts in the world were, 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 were giving me. So, yeah. So the treatment program consisted of um, uh, IV infusions, uh, so uh, injections uh, with a drip into my arm. Um, and there were about three to four occasions that I had that. Um, there were also lo localized injections at the point of injury. Um, um, uh, so I had my lower back uh, treated, I had my shoulders treated, as well as my knee treated. Um, there were also um, multivitamins, uh, a number of multivitamins that were given through IV again, which um, extenuated uh, the effects uh, off the, the stem cells. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. I, I don't believe the treatment was painful. Um, it was a case of um, um, localized injections, uh, which as a child, you know, growing up, we've all had our, our jabs, uh, flu jabs are given on a regular basis. So, um, you know, just getting that stem cell treatment into the system uh, was as far as painful as it gets, to be honest. So no, I don't think it was painful at all. Okay, so the results that I achieved uh, from this comprehensive cell, stem cell therapy was um, um, in, in the first month and a half, I started to see a significant pain reduction. By the second month, I was able to stand for longer than the half an hour. Um, I was able to walk longer than the half an hour. Uh, by two and a half months, I was back in the gym. Um, by the end of three, by the end of the third month, I believe miraculously that my life had got back to how it was uh, previously. I mean, going back to the eight years when this whole thing, eight to ten years when this whole thing started, um, I was in the gym, I was swimming, um, I was playing uh, golf again. Uh, which I honestly thought was uh, unimaginable. Um, so my life went from almost a zero to lying in bed uh, to after the treatment to a, uh, a 10, having li living my life 
uh, as per normal with my family, with my children, doing the activities which I thought were, as I say, unimaginable. My average day has changed. Um, I probably didn't mention it before, but being at work uh, was, I mean, I had to take a year and a half off from work, I got to a stage where I just couldn't stand. Being a pharmacist, I stand at a computer uh, all day, meeting uh, customers, advising customers. It's pretty much a stand-up uh, job. Um, I found myself that I could go back into work and, and stand from nine till six, not a problem. Uh, but that was by the end of the third to the four month, fourth month. And, uh, and it's pretty much been like that since um, I've had the treatment now, which is coming up to a year. Uh, with the kids, uh, taking them out for walks, uh, taking them out to swim with me now, um, not having to worry about the, 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 the pain the next day. Which in the early days, there was um, almost a, a case of on exertion, my body would sort of repair itself. And uh, after a few hours, I'd, after getting up, I'd be fine again, but I don't have those effects anymore. So it's almost like living my life um, miraculously uh, uh, as if I hadn't had these uh, sim symptoms whatsoever. My, my life uh, prior to getting this treatment was almost non-existent. The, the pain that I was in, uh, people, professionals would ask me and they'd give me a chart from zero to 10. I mean, I felt like I was all, always almost on a 20. Um, uh, I would have to sit at work in a particular posture just to try to alleviate the pain from my facet joints, my lower back, uh, walking for long times. Um, I found that I had to hunch over, I'd have to take breaks as I'd be, when I was out and about, um, and the breaks wouldn't actually get rid of the pain. Uh, so it was almost from waking up uh, to going to sleep with strong painkillers uh, what was the only re relief that I had while I, was be while I was asleep. And as soon as I was awake again, the pain was there, ready, you know, ready to attack me th throughout the rest of the day. And that was a stage of a year and a half to two years. So I think if anything, um, if a treatment like this, if I had the confidence in it um, uh, and the knowledge of uh, somebody who'd been through it and to take that plunge, I think would have taken a taken a lot of that pain away. Some thoughts from before and after the treatment is, um, I'm sure, uh, like myself, uh, there'd be a lot of people with a lot of hesitation. I was very skeptical um, on uh, watching and listening to testimonials. There's a lot of negative bias based on alternative medicine. Um, um, and that comes from somewhere. Um, my advice is, to do your research, get in contact with those who have had the treatment done, um, get that live feedback and um, have the confidence in knowing that there's thousands and thousands of people whose lives have been transformed to a point where they couldn't even imagine whilst being in that state like myself. I got to a point where you know, I went into an almost a depression uh, th due to the pain, as many, many people do, where I gave up everything and I was lying in bed uh, pretty much for most of the day due to the pain. Um, so it's having that confidence and that belief that there are alternatives out there as far as treatments are concerned and having that confidence to actually take the plunge uh, so you can enjoy the rest of your life.